Hello everyone, I'm Josh and welcome back to another 3D Revolution. You may have noticed yesterday I was doing a live stream of this print right here, a hominid skull. I think it's pretty cool so I'm excited to take a look. In this video that's exactly what I'm going to be doing, seeing how this model's come out, but also looking at the support material that I've been testing out whilst printing this. Now the support material I'm testing out in this video is a new material by Rigid Ink. I popped a link in the description below. They call it breakaway material and the idea is that it's a very solid but very brittle material that snaps as soon as you go to remove it from your print. It's also a lot cheaper than PVA so I'm going to see if I can save myself a few pounds on future prints with this so let's get stuck in. Well that's come off really nicely and well it looks really good. The support material prints with 95 degrees, so you can see how at room temperature it's contracted so much it just pulled straight off the bed. Removing it from the print, however, may be a bit more of a challenge. I've read that this can shatter like glass when you're removing it, so I've prepared myself some safety specs. Let's get stuck in. You can see that it is coming off quite nice and easily and not really leaving that much on the print itself. Where it has come away it's left no sign of any support material which is really nice. And it's very easy despite it being clear to distinguish between what is and what isn't support material which is very handy. Now I can't see it shattering like people have suggested. Uh, it's not, as you can see, I'm doing this with my hands as sharp as glasses, but there are tiny shards going everywhere, so I'm going to have to do a lot of cleaning up. Uh, but I definitely recommend wearing uh, the eye protection to prevent these shards from shooting in your eyes. But I've got to say, so far, I am very impressed. I'll do proper clean up later, but that has come out really nice. Now what you may notice here on the bottom, there are a few places where the PLA didn't properly adhere to the support material um, and then has been knocked away before the rest of the skull was printed. It's only a few small places and it's something that could easily be fixed in my cleanup process. Uh, it's not ideal, but I'd imagine that's something that I can overcome with my settings rather than it being an issue with the support material itself. Um, other than that, you can see most of the areas that it's come in contact with has adhered really nicely and has given me a nice clean finish. So I'm really happy with that and I think it's come out really well. Take a look at this skull. Whilst printing this, I needed to make sure that both my PLA and the support material were cooled really well, and that's quite important with this support material. So in addition to leaving the front and the top off of my printer whilst printing, I also removed the side to allow extra venting, and printed an additional vent tube for cooling the right-hand nozzle. If you've ever used a Creator Pro, you'll know only the left-hand nozzle actually has a cooler vent. I've left a link for that in the description below, and it seems to work really well for me. On the whole, this support material I think is really impressive. For the same price as a normal filament, it seems to have done a really good job, it is incredibly easy to remove with a clean finish underneath. Um, the only thing I need to sort out is my own settings to uh, adhere better on that first layer. But again, it's only in a few points, the rest of it has come out fantastically. Um, I'd certainly give it a try. Again, the link's in the description below see what you think and let me know what you'd like to see next time. I'm Josh and this has been 3D Revolution. Thank you. Thanks for watching and remember hit subscribe for more news, tips and live streams on everything 3D and tech.